Hey guys, this is Eric with Simply Vegas and today we're touring this luxury modern home right here. Listed for $2,649,500. This home was originally constructed in 2014. It has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. It has 4,172 square feet inside and it is a 8,276 square foot lot inside of this home. So I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about this home or any home in Las Vegas, feel free to reach out to me. As we make our way here into this entrance, let's get that open here. You are greeted with this nice open floor plan, this beautiful chandelier that they have set up. And heading on over here, you're going to be greeted with your kitchen. As you can see, this modern style kitchen right here. So this is gonna be the kitchen that you have with this beautiful kitchen island, as well as these nice cabinets. And as well, you're gonna have your gas stove right here. And you're going to have a nice refrigerator right here that's already uh, pre-installed, as well as this microwave and double set oven. Your pantry is gonna be right on over here as well. So now it has a three car garage. There's gonna be two separate garages. Here's gonna be your pantry. Got a lot of room to work with inside there. And right here is gonna be a two car garage. Let's head on inside. These automatic lights that turn on. So this one is going to be located in the Gargated community up in Summerlin South. Has a $695 total HOA. And that does offer you the car gated community, along with a handful of incentives, like some basketball courts, clubhouse, community pool. Uh, right here is where you would put your dining room table. This beautiful light right here. You also have a heater pool in the back. So yeah, this community also has a fitness center, pickleball court, tennis courts, and it was constructed by William Lyon Homes. Heading on over here, you're going to have your living room area. This beautiful setup in this wall. Let's take a good look at that. As well, you do have this nice bar over here. Also comes with sink and plenty of room to set up your wines, your drinks, your glasses, and everything else. <laughs> Sorry, I had a sneeze. <clears throat> yeah, moving on over here, you're gonna have one bedroom downstairs uh, before we actually get to that. Let's just take a look inside here. You're gonna have your coat closet and a couple things in there. Over here, you're going to have a half bathroom. And these bathrooms actually do turn on as well. You can light that up right there. So yeah, very cool. Change the color. Let's turn that off real quick. Okay, cool little half bathroom. Heading on over here, you're going to have your bedroom and each bedroom does have its own individual bathroom. So like this one, you're gonna have your walk-in closet right here. Let's take a good look at this room. I gotta say, this community does have a lot of beautiful landscaping done throughout. Makes it all feel like nice and private, but also gives you a nice feel of nature. I'm gonna have your toilet with your sink right there. Moving on, we're gonna head on over to this last garage. So just a single car garage. Have a decent amount of room to work with you got cabinets and also you can hang some stuff up right there along with having access to your side yard so let's actually open this up and right there you're gonna have two ac units so like i mentioned this home is a little bit newer it was originally constructed in 2014 has that modern style and in my opinion is the best style of building to have. So yeah, that basically does do it for this first floor. You got over 12, uh, 20 foot long um, ceilings. 
So yeah, high ceilings uh, right here. They actually have some plastic right here. So I don't dirty the floor as I'm stepping through. So yeah, moving on, let's head on into the second floor. You're gonna have three bedrooms. I'll show your washer and dryer. So your first bedroom that you're gonna have right here, it's gonna be your average bedroom. Get these nice windows as well. Let's actually head on out here. You're gonna have your own balcony. Get some nice views of some of the other houses as well as of the mountain. As you can see, the landscaping that they have in this neighborhood, very well maintained. Let's head on back in here. I'm struggling to open, close that. Here you're gonna have your closet, walk-in closet right there. And as well, your bathroom for this one. All nicely taken care of as well. Everything here does look brand new. So yeah, moving on right there, you're gonna have a little walkway. We'll get to that momentarily because right there is actually where you have your master bedroom. Here, you're going to have your washer, dryer, a bunch of cabinets that you can work with. Everything looking nice and clean as well. Washer, dryer, along with the sink. So yeah, essentially everything you need. Right here is just gonna be another cloak closet, almost. And going on over here, this is gonna be one of the bigger bedrooms. This is gonna be the second biggest bedroom. And this one is going to have nice cabinets right here. You can fold your clothes in there, put some pants, as well as your walk-in closet. And also your own full bathroom inside of here, the bathtub and sink. And that does just about do it, except for the master bedroom, which is over here across this little walkway. Let's take a look at some of the views you get right here. Nice views, and you also get a nice look of your front yard as well. So yeah, very cool. Let's head on in here into this master bedroom and take a look at this. So I do wanna hear your guys' opinions. Are you guys a fan of having a fireplace located in the middle of your bedroom just so you can have you know your bed um your bed right here and hang up your tv right there so yeah uh let me know what you guys think about that uh, i personally i'm not really a big fan of that sort of style but i'm sure many people are but you also have a balcony up here take on a look and you get a nice view of some trees from your neighbor you can also take a look into your backyard Yeah, moving on, let's head on inside into this master bathroom. And then we can take a look into the backyard. So this one right here, let's turn this on real quick. You're gonna have your master closet right there. It's gonna be two of them. So you got this one, it has a decent amount of room to work with, along with another one right here. Oh, let's turn this light on. And this one you're actually gonna be able to walk into. This one's a lot bigger. Then the other one. So yeah, definitely a lot to work with on that one. Here, you're going to have your toilet, your own little personal room for that. Also got some natural light coming in. And this is gonna be your master bathroom. So you're gonna have one side right here where you can have one of the sinks along with some natural light coming in. Bathtub right there. And then this side where you get your other sink along with your shower right over here, seating area inside, and there you go. So that's gonna be your shower. So that just about does it for this inside. Now let's head on downstairs so we can take a look inside of this backyard because this backyard is beautiful as well. Let's take a walk on down here. Get some final views of the inside. Let's head on to the backyard. All 
all right so this is gonna be the back area you get so you get three entrances so you got this door right here you got these sliding doors right here and as well as this main door got your personal spa right here and honestly you could definitely hang up like some sort of tv right there and maybe watch like a game or something and yeah, this is gonna be your backyard so you get this nice pool a little bit of a waterfall effect right there along with your own personal cookout area with your grill all the way over here yeah very nice you could definitely set up like some sort of chairs over here and i do want to mention too that you do get a lot of shade so we're actually currently in summer and you know the temperature right now you know around 90 degrees and we are in the middle of june so mixed between the higher elevation you also get a decent amount of shade throughout the day so it does definitely feel cooler here than a lot of other parts of las vegas right here you got you're gonna have your side yard you're gonna have your pool machinery and as well you're gonna have your trash cans right there some beautiful landscaping right here as well but yeah that just about does it i do want to thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions about this home or any home inside of las vegas feel free to reach out to me and i'll see you guys on the next one